One thing I would like to see more of specifically with data is adaptive assessments. Um, I don't know if you have the same thing in Australia, but in um, the UK tiered assessments are very common at secondary, where for a student, you decide whether you're putting them in for the, you know, the, um, uh, the lower paper or the higher paper, effectively. We call them the foundation and the higher paper um, for, a, for a national assessment. And that's a really high stakes decision, right? If you're putting a student in for a foundation paper, you're saying you can only get a certain mark, you can't get above that. And if you're putting them in for the higher paper, you're saying you need to do at least this well, because if you don't, you get an ungraded response. So some people get put in for a higher paper and end up getting nothing because you shot high and they didn't make that standard. Now that's making, I think, quite an unfair decision for those borderline kids that could go either way, um, where it's not obvious which paper they should be part of. And it's a purely um, lack of technology problem. We do not need to tier assessments. You can these days design, in some subjects anyway, it's not quite the same across all subjects, but you can design adaptive assessments where technology delivers you the next question based on how you did on the preceding questions and the paper right. adapts as you go along. Um, and I think in terms of, you talked about um, you know, compliance, I would describe it as accountability. I think actually one way we can have better quality data is removing things like that, where the way we've designed the system sort of produce kind of unfair outcomes for certain students because they've been entered into the wrong assessment.